Don't forget Eric Dickerson jumps on the show here at 1 o'clock. All right, I think the biggest news over the weekend, at least for our listeners, Rodney, I actually thought it was bigger than AD getting hurt. One, when the Dodgers signed J.D. Martinez, one year, $10 million, uh, he will be the DH because that's about all he can do. So he'll be your DH, and that's a respectable bat in your lineup. But when they signed J.D. Martinez, first thing that popped in my mind was, is that it for Justin Turner? They basically filled his role. And then yeah. the next day, what happened? Justin signs a two-year deal with the Red Sox, $11, millions a, $11 million a year, uh, and has the option to opt out after one season. Let me start with your thoughts overall on what happened. Um, I'll, I'll start with J.D. Martinez. Obviously, he's been a, uh, a, a big bat wherever he's gone. He's contributed wherever he's gone. I think later in his career, he's actually gotten better in terms of him being at the plate. Um, a student of hitting, uh, we all know this. I think his peers and teammates all benefit, I think, from him and how he takes hitting and his approach to hitting. I think it rubs off on some of his teammates, and it, that's what you know we've been told. And 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 overall, a pretty good guy. So I think the Dodgers are getting, you know, are are getting someone that will contribute in a big way for them in terms of the DH and what he brings to the plate and driving in runs and hitting home runs. I think it's a, a good thing. The hard part about that is, like you said, it's uh, there's a trade-off in that, and that means Justin Turner is now gone with the Red Sox. And uh, look, I, I'm a I'm a big big believer and big guy when it comes to chemistry and locker room makeup and all those things. And I really believe that the Dodgers, their success and what they've done over the last eight years, uh, or even longer, how long he's been here, has has benefited from Justin being in that clubhouse justin being the guy that he is forget about the on the field stuff because he's been he's been magic and money on the field he's had his yeah some downtrodden times some down times but for the most part if you look at his body of work for the dodgers it's been big hit after big hit it's been big moment after big moment he has been a glue that has kept this team together um but off the field i think just you cannot you cannot put a price tag on what he means to a club, what he means to a city, what he means to an organization. Uh, Justin Turner is that guy um, in terms of role model. So it's it's hard to replace that, Fred. Uh, yeah, I was sad when it happened. Although as time went on and nothing happened, I thought this might be the end game here. Uh, I'm sure the deal was this. You go out and see what you can get, Justin. You come back to us. And then we'll find out if we're in the same ballpark. The Dodgers are trying to get under that tax threshold. They need to reset the tax. And uh, I think this one hurts a little bit because of the yeah. person he is. And and you cannot forget what he has meant to the organization on the field. Some of the big hits he's had. Some of the great moments he's had. Yeah. And he's going to be missed. You know, you can't, you can't teach chemistry. And he was a guy that created a culture and was a big part of the chemistry of the ball club. But times change. And the good news for Justin, he's going somewhere where he is valued. He is going somewhere where they believe he can make a, a contribution. You know, to sit here and play for the Dodgers and really not be able to be the guy you were, maybe not even be in the lineup every day, you don't want to do that. You just don't want to hang on. You don't want to cling. There's someone that believes he can play and he can help them on a daily basis. So I say good for Justin. I'm happy he got that opportunity. I'm sad for the fans in Los Angeles because we are losing someone who meant an awful lot to us. But it is yeah. a business. It is a business, Fred. But here's the thing that I wrestle with with this one is that, um, yeah, it's times change, times move on. You know, I think his playing time uh, has diminished last year, but will would have probably continued to diminish a little bit. Um but the difference in price tag was really, I mean, I guess it's the two years as opposed to the one year that J.D. Martini's got. We're talking $10 million versus $11 million. Um, Was it about money of, of, of the Dodgers not signing him back and not the two-year commitment the Dodgers didn't want to sign him back for? You know, when it comes to the money and the contract part of it, it's not like J.D. signed for, you know, $5 million and Justin wanted double that, so that's why they couldn't sign him. Or was it just the second year? Uh, that's the part that I kind of wrestle with, that it wasn't like Justin priced himself out of being signed back by the Dodgers. Uh, well, let's put it like this. 
J.D. Martinez made a million less than Justin Turner got for one year. Just look at it like that. He got a million less. And a million dollars at this point in time, they're trying to save money. Uh, And maybe Justin wanted two years, his option to come back, and the Dodgers only offered one. I know. On the surface, the money is the same. Yeah. You know, at first blush, the money is the same. So you could also make this argument. For whatever reason, and we'll see if it comes to fruition, the Dodgers believe J.D. Martinez will have a better year than Justin Turner. The Dodgers believe J.D. Martinez will prove to be more valuable this year than Justin Turner. Because otherwise, the money's a wash. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. The money's, the money's a wash, unless that's what they truly believe that that was. Uh, maybe it's, a, you know, the the RBI, the, what they're looking for from a designated hitter, and, and J.D. fills that role, they believe, more so than Justin. But in terms of, like you said, at first glance, and you look at this and it's like, oh, the money's not that different, then why don't they just sign back JT if there's not the big discrepancy on the money? Maybe right. two years. Maybe two years. Right. Uh, maybe they truly believe that JD Martinez will have a better year. Yeah. I mean, it could be. That could be the case. So look at what the Dodgers have done. So while, and by the way, the Padres have now signed Seth Lugo. The pitch, our Seth Lugo? Yeah, our Seth Lugo. They signed our Seth Lugo? Yeah, the guy the Dodgers wanted. <laughs> they signed Seth Lugo. Damn. Pop, and not, now in the back of your mind, you're probably sitting here thinking, are they just going to sign everybody they can that the Dodgers want? <laughs> We're just going to play a little defense here. You want them? We want them more. Now, what yeah. that does, of course, what that does long term is it shoots you. Because now you're just spending money like crazy to keep somebody else from getting a guy. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we talk about the Dodgers having deep pockets and the Yankees having deep pockets. How about the pockets of the Padres? I mean, they are spending money. And like you said, they have the luxury. Are they having the luxury to to sign guys just to keep them away from the Dodgers? That's throwing money around, Fred. That's a dangerous game to play. I mean, that is really a dangerous game to play. If you're just going, okay, they want you. We want you. They talked to Trey Turner for God's sake. Yes. Okay. Yes. Max Scherzer. You remember that yep. run that they tried to do and tried to get him there. You come down here. I mean, anybody now up with the Dodgers, the Padres are going to immediately try to swoop in because all they're trying to do is play defense and keep the Dodgers from signing the people he want. They want to sign. Uh, but let's see what the Dodgers have done. They have turned to veterans in this off season. While everybody else is making a splash playing the name game. Here, here are the names the Dodgers signed. Noah Syndergaard. By the way, if you check his Twitter page, I don't know if it works. He has his phone number on it. His actual phone number? I, there's a phone number on his him? Twitter page.